Ladies and gentlemen, we're going to go ahead and continue with the presentation of the state's case at this point in time. Mr. Stevens, I'm still under oath, okay? Yes. All right, madam. Ms. Lowe. Mr. Stevens, I have three more lines of inquiry for you, and we'll be done, all right? Okay. Mr. Stevens, on cross-examination, I'm going to show you what has already been admitted as defendant's exhibit, defendant Williams' exhibit number four and ask you if you recall seeing that and speaking about Defendant Williams Exhibit Number 4 on cross-examination with Mr. Brian Steele. You can look through it. is in response to. Yeah. No problem. Did you then say, ain't nobody working, everybody got their own motion, find your purpose to the game? Yes. Did real one underscore for real or underscore FR say six niggas sleep here? Yeah. Was he talking about at the web? Yes. And does 4K say having his way say then that's 600 right there? Yes. And 12 if y'all go 200? Yeah. 
Did you then respond? The gang, shawty, you know how it be. Mm, see, look, you go. No. Or did real one underscore for real say the gang shot you know how to do? Yes. Okay. And did 4K Tay have in his way, say 40 a day, 1200 a month? Yes. All that conversation and if you need to go ahead and read through it you can because I'm going from page 1703 to 1704 to 1705 your honor uh, mr. Steele can it's his exhibit I'm just reading from defense Exhibit number four. Just to announce the time, please, madam. It will help help everybody kind of orient us the time and space. Yes. Okay? Yes, Your Honor. All right, thank you. On page 1706, after that conversation and as part of that conversation about the rent, you see on 1703 mm -hmm. where you say at on February the 6th, 2021, as according to this document, I've been paying the rent. Mm -hmm. And then on page 1706, at February the 7th, 2021, mm -hmm. on this document at 1 o'clock in the morning, you have Thugger Thugger 1 saying, y'all just start bringing me the money, really? Yes. Okay. And... Does Slime Life Shorty, do you ask, um, does Slime Life Shorty say going to be no more company at the yo after that request? Yes. And does Thugger Thugger 1 say, y'all heard me clearly, sir? Yes. And then does he say, man, y'all little niggas stop playing with me? Yes. And did 4K Tay having his way say, that's all I be saying, Slime? Yes. In response to Thugger Thugger 1 saying, man, y'all little niggas stop playing with me? Yes. And does 4K Tay having his way then say, I don't care who mad at me? Yes. Does Thugger Thugger 1 then say, I step, F-R-F-R, F -R, meaning for real, for real? Yes. Okay. Does 4K Tay having his way then say, they know? Yes. And do you respond, I don't get mad, 4K, I get money? Yes. Does the conversation proceed from that point? I don't get mad, 4K, I get money. Three lines or four lines or more down to where Thugger Thugger won on February the 7th, 2021 at 107.38 UTC on this document. Say, y'all niggas stop saying sucker shit then. I hear all of it. And today, I just want to let y'all know. Does he say that? Yeah. In response, do you say, I asked about the rent money. That's some sucker stuff. Won't ask about it no more. Yeah. And do you say that after Thugger Thugger 1 says, y'all niggas stop saying sucker shit then. I hear all of it. And today, I just want to let y'all know. Yeah. All right. And after you say, I asked about the rent money, that's some sucker stuff, won't ask about it no more. Does Thugger Thugger 1 say, everybody in this text, because everybody, y'all done got something from me. All of that little lame ass shit niggas be saying can go far. Does he say that? Yeah. And then, does Thugger Thugger 1 tell you, slug, relax. It's not, no, it's not about no fucking rent money. Yes. 
and the slime life shawty respond that part. Yeah. Does Thugger Thugger One respond on February the 7th, 2021, according to this document, 10944 UTC? Niggas just be saying little lame shit behind the nigga back and begging when we meet. Yeah. Do you respond, speak highly of you in any circumstance, any situation on February the 7th, 2021? Yeah. And then does Thugger Thugger One respond, right, so what are you talking about then? Yes. Do you then say understood? Yeah. Does 4K Tay having his way say got your back, behind your back, and niggas say I'm sick riding, so be it? Yeah. And does Thugger Thugger 1 then say on like that sucker shit, niggas getting too crazy thinking they can say that to me on a text? I'm a gangster for show, for show. Does Thugger Thugger 1 on February the 7th, 2021, at 1-12-21 UTC, say that in response to 4K Tay having his way. Yes. Yeah. All right. Does Slime Life Shorty respond, you talking about what I said, Slap? Yes. And then does he say, you took it wrong, Slime? Yes. And does Thugger Thugger 1 then say, y'all niggas lame AF? Does that mean as fuck? Yes. Okay. And stop asking me for shit, because I ain't lame and I can keep all mine. Does he say that? Yeah. Does Thugger Thugger One then say, I'm talking about all y'all, not just you? Yeah. Does he then, in capital letters, write everybody? Yeah. And then does he then say, nigga, you know you can come to the studio whenever you fucking want, so why would you ever say that? Yeah. And later on, does Thugger Thugger One, after saying, I shouldn't have to take nothing wrong, it don't say, you don't say it knowing it ain't for you. And then does he say, y'all remember I'm on the chat too, bro. Keep all that lame shit on the other one. Yeah. Does he then say everybody? Yes. Does Slime Life Shorty then say, y'all niggas start kicking in. It shouldn't be no one or two niggas paying for everything that everyone use. Everybody do they part, so we won't have these problems, gang. Can we all do that? Does Slime Life Shawty say that? Yeah. Does Thugger Thugger One then say, this shit ain't got no money, twin. I pay for everything for niggas. Does he say that? Yeah. And does Thugger Thugger One on 2-7-2021 at 119-51 UTC say, it ain't about that? Yes. And then do you in response say, only thing I was saying is I can't afford to take care of this family by choice. Not yet anyway, when the only thing I make is $400 off each one, I pay $1,500, that will hurt. Yeah. All right. Do you then say, after a few attachments are sent, I know you ain't getting no disrespect from me. I won't disrespect nobody. That's part of the reason I stopped cussing, so I won't disrespect nobody. I don't want to feel it either. Yeah. All right. And just Thugger Thugger One send a series of attachments after that point. Yes. All right. Now, on direct redirect examination by me before we last were in court. Did you tell the jury that the defendant Williams wrote a song called Dropping Jewels? Yes. And is that still your testimony that defendant Williams wrote a song called Dropping Jewels? Yes. Do you know who Chandler Durham is? No. Did you tell the jury that Dropping Jewels was about the defendant Williams being truly humble under God? Yes. All right. And the line that you referred to, was that line that ain't no more reminiscing, ain't no more judging, no intuition line? No. Which line was it? Um, you asked me, name a part in the song where he was referring to God, and I said the first line in the song, uh, sh to show me why I'm um, living, why I'm remaining here. Okay, thank you for that. Prior to that line of question, did I specifically <clears throat> ask you how many songs 
did the defendant Williams write about being truly humble under God? Yes. And did you name this song as one of those songs? Yes. And when I asked you where in the song was he talking about being truly humble, humble under God, is that when you said, tell me why I'm living, why am I remaining here? I thought your question was to show me where in the song that he was referring to God, and okay. that's what I gave you. Okay. Is the line, I was smoking Scotty, but not Pippin. I taught my son how to stack that shit to the ceiling. Also a part of dropping jewels? Yes. It's drop a body, and you wouldn't have to pay for lunch. I told my dog I'm riding, whether he right or wrong. I done got big. They record my life through a drone. I told my bitch to stay behind me. I'm in my zone. She like, how the fuck you ain't never wrote a song? You riding for life, then I just rather die alone. Bought you a spot, now you don't. Never gotta go. Yeah, I told my niggas, I'm dropping the jewels on him. You gotta go through that shit with your heart. You can't snooze on it. Are those also words in the song, dropping jewels? Yes. Yeah. Is there any part of what I just read that refers to the defendant Williams being truly humble under God? Objection causes speculation. No, I'm going to overrule the objection. You may yeah. answer it. You said, do what you just read talk about God? No. Just is the line, you got to go through this shit with your heart. You can't snooze on it. It's bad. You better get rid of it or lose on it. I know you heard that old saying about bad fruit home. You caught. If you can't beat them, knock them out. If you're going to kill them, better not be sloppy. Are those lines in dropping jewels? Yes. In dropping jewels, does defendant Williams say, I told my daughter, keep one in the head. She ain't got a pocket. I told my son, if he wanted to live, he might catch a body. I told my son, he ain't a cheerleader, but he might gotta catch a body. His driver named Joe, but he still can't do it sloppy. Are those all lines in dropping jewels as well? Yes. Do either one of those lines refer to the defendant being truly humble under God? Objection, culture, speculation. Or no. Okay. Do the lines, I just hopped up out that ghost. I've been driving a dead body. I ain't really into nothing, but I spend it like a hobby. I was locked inside the trap. Didn't think about it, but I got out it. Now my cars and clothes exotic. Ain't six nine, but two holes with me right now. You can call me shoddy. I've been dropping all my big lines and dropping jewels. Yes. Do either of those lines refer to the defendant being truly humble under God? No. Right. Got this shit on fire like Takis, nigga. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Ain't no more reminiscing. Ain't no more judging. No intuition. Tell me why I'm living. Why am I remaining here? Are all of those lines in dropping jewels? Yes. And besides the tell me why I'm living, why am I remaining here? In your words, do any of those lines refer to the defendant being truly humble under God? No. I told my bitch I was about to go shoot up Trestle Tree. Half a million dollars on my Got a sniper on the roof for niggas trying to act hard. I just bought a brand new coupe and it's a black Jaguar. Matt Black, old Trans Am, thank you ma'am. We gonna make us a porn star video, new cam. I came up just watching my pop gamble my food stamps. I just called cramps. I don't go back and forth with tramps. Baby, we stamped. Just for that, I'ma call you ma'am. Got the T-Rex, I just gave my daddy the cam. I got the sheets wet, hit that little bitch up, then I slam her like I'm from BX. Then I fold her up like a clam. Yeah. It was dark. And then I came to the light. I was poor and I now my door's suicide. I don't know how to make it right. I bought four Birkins for you. Keep it light. I don't 
don't care about you leaving me. I got no time to try to make it right. Are all of those lines from dropping jewels? Yes. Do any of those lines, to your knowledge, talk about the defendant being truly humble under God? Social calls for speculation. Or old. Not to my knowledge. Okay. Did you testify on cross-examination with Mr. Brian Steele to the following two facts or two assertions by Mr. Steele? That after Mr. Jeffrey Williams became famous, you two went your separate ways, and that the defendant Williams bragged or took credit in his songs for acts that you committed. Yes. Would you tell the jury what acts defendant Williams took credit for in his songs that you committed? I don't think he was just saying specifically. I think he was just saying, like, how I was living at the time. I was selling drugs and carrying guns. Did you testify to this jury that you were jealous of the defendant, Williams, because he, by taking credit for acts that you did in his songs, was making money rapping about things that you could have been making money from? Yes. And... Are the only acts you're talking about the general acts of selling money and carrying guns? Yeah. Okay, so no specific acts. No, no specific. Were there any specific acts? <coughs> All right, that's standing objection. That's the fact. No, nothing specific. So what kept you from rapping about it yourself? Mm. I ain't have a talent. Your Honor, at this time, um, the state asked permission from the court to publish State's Exhibit 14 Uniform. Any further objections other than the ones that have been made? And I'll note that 14, you will be uh, I'll admit 14 uh, uniform and it will be published as you see fit. And um, note that it will be a continuing objection. Thank you. And Your Honor, for the sake of brevity, we're just going to push it forward to uh, one minute and 59 seconds. All right. Yeah, if you would make sure that you put the time hacks on the <coughs> purpose of the record. Ladies and gentlemen, you good? Mr. Stevens, if you could please um, state your true and correctly. Full name. Trontavious Stevens. And are you the same person referred to as Trontavious Stevens, also known as Tick and also known as Slug, on indictment 22 SC 183572? Yes. Are you at this time taking or under the influence of any alcohol, drugs, or medicine? No. How old are you? 29. And how far have you gone in school? I got a GED. Okay. Are you able to read, write, and understand the English language? Yes. Do you understand that you are charged in this indictment with count one, conspiracy to violate the Racketeer Influence and Corrupt Organizations Act? Yes. Do you understand that you have the right to plead either guilty or not guilty to these charges? Yes. And if you plead not guilty or remain silent, you may receive a jury trial. Yes. Have you had enough time to speak with your lawyer, your attorney Gladden, about all the facts and circumstances known to you regarding the charge in this indictment? Yes. Have you also been able to speak with her about any potential defenses? Yes. Do you need any more time to discuss this matter with your attorney? 
No. Are you satisfied with her counsel and representation? Yes. Do you waive formal reading of the indictment? Excuse me? So wait. Yes. I asked if um, your attorney, you and your attorney wait formal reading of the indictment. That means they don't want to read the If not, I got to read the indictment. Yeah. Oh. So, so wait. Okay. Do you waive any and all defects, if any, with respect to the indictment? Yes. Uh, Mr. Stevens, have you been arrested on these charges? You've been arrested on these charges. Yes. Okay. And, Your Honor, the state is unaware of any outstanding warrants related to these charges. Um, Ms. Gladden, do you know, if, are you aware of any outstanding warrants as it relates to these charges? I'm not. Okay. Has your attorney advised you of the minimum and maximum sentence for the charge in which you are pleading to? Yes. <clears throat> Do you understand this is a negotiated plea of guilty, which means that the state will recommend to the court a sentence that I will read, but the court does not have to accept this recommendation, and that the court can sentence you to the maximum on each charge. Yes. Do you understand that? Yes. Do you understand that this plea, the state's offer on this plea is, as to count one, 10 years to serve two years, commute to time served with a balance of eight years on probation. Do you understand that? Yes. Do you understand that there are certain special conditions as it relates to this negotiation? Yes. For one, you shall abide in full by each and all of the terms of this negotiated agreement, and your failure to abide by any of the terms of the agreement shall constitute a violation of this agreement. Do you understand that? Yes. Do you understand that you shall testify truthfully about all matters relating to this case upon which you are questioned at any trial or judicial proceeding stemming from the facts alleged in this indictment? Yes. Do you understand that in accordance with testifying truthfully about all matters related to this case, you acknowledge that each and all the statements contained within the defendant's factual acknowledgments portion of this agreement are true, and that you will testify truthfully about those statements and any matters related to this case when asked to do so? Yes. Do you understand as a special condition, condition you shall possess no guns unless your right to do so is restored? Yes. That you should also submit to random drug screens by the Department of Community Supervision and any agency designated by this court. Yes. That you shall commit no criminal acts. Yes. And that you will relinquish any Fifth Amendment right related to any statement contained within the defendant's factual acknowledgments contained within this plea agreement, and you will make no attempt at trial to assert a Fifth Amendment privilege when questioned on these matters. Do you understand that? Yes. Do you understand that some of the factual acknowledgments that you acknowledge is one, that Young Slime Life, a.k.a. YSL, is an organization made up of three or more members or associates who share common identifiers that include but are not limited to colors, hand signals, and terminology, who have committed crimes intended to increase the notoriety, street credibility, and reputation of YSL. Is that one of your acknowledgments? Yes. Do you also acknowledge that you were one of the founding members of Young Slime Life? Yes. Do you also acknowledge that you committed an aggravated assault as alleged in count one of this indictment by brandishing a gun at an undercover police officer that was surveilling a vehicle that was hijacked from a woman? Yes. Do you acknowledge that in October of 2014, you were arrested with a red bandana and you were observed with a YSL tattoo and a Cleveland Avenue Rock Crew tattoo, amongst other tattoos? Yes. Do you also acknowledge in that same incident when you were asked by law enforcement about your Rock Crew, your rock crew and your YSL tattoos that you truthfully advised law enforcement that you were a member of a gang called Rock Crew, but that... That group is no longer going by that name and now goes by YSL, which originally stood for Young Slime Life. Yes. Did you also, in that same conversation, um, advise law enforcement that YSL originally stood for Young Slime Life, but the group began calling itself Young Successful Lifestyle after Jeffrey Williams, a.k.a. Young Thug, signed a record deal? Yes. Do you also acknowledge... That the statements made to police about Rock Crew and YSL, as reflected in sections three and four above, which I just mentioned, are true and accurate. Yeah. You acknowledge that you've been accused of and arrested for robbing women. Yes. 
you acknowledge that you are the same person referred to as Tick in the song by Young Thug entitled You in the verse She Getting Robbed by Tick. Yes. You also acknowledge that on October, excuse me, on February 4th, 2021, you participated in a group chat with fellow YSL founder Jeffrey Williams, a.k.a. A Young Thug, and YSL associates Wooney Lee, a.k.a. Slime Life Shorty, wherein Jeffrey Williams stated, YSL rule the world, world kid, y'all just start bringing me the money, man, y'all stop playing with me. Do you acknowledge that? Yeah. Do you acknowledge that on May 13, 2021, you participated in another group chat with fellow YSL founder Jeffrey Williams, a.k.a. Young Thug, and YSL associates Martinez Arnold, Miles Farley, Quantavius Greer, Antonio Sumlin, Mooney Lee, where Jeff Jeffrey Williams asked, y'all ain't beat him up or shot him yet? Then states, y'all get us off. Yes. Do you acknowledge that the gas station at 151 Cleveland Avenue is a location where YSL Associates sell drugs? Yes. That also the gas station at 221 Cleveland Avenue is a location where YSL Associates sell drugs? Yes. And also, do you acknowledge that you cannot truthfully assert that anyone's charged in this indictment is not guilty of the crimes of, as alleged in this indictment, and you will not make any attempt at trial prior to trial or after trial to exonerate or exculpate anyone charged this indictment of the crimes alleged in this indictment, it, nor will you claim that anyone on this indictment is not guilty of the crime as charged in this indictment. Yes. Do you also acknowledge that if you violate the plea agreement, the district attorney can and will use the statement during any judicial proceeding? Yes. You also understand and acknowledge that if you violate any portion of this plea agreement, the district attorney can and will use the statement during any judicial proceeding? Yes. You also understand and acknowledge that if you violate any portion of this plea agreement before, during, or after the initial trial of this case, you are subject to having the entire the entirety of your sentence revoked. Yes. And you could be sentenced to prison. Yes. Do you also understand if you violate any terms of this plea agreement, it will result in your sentence being revoked and the district attorney will recommend that you serve up to the maximum sentence allowed by law in the Georgia Department of Corrections? Yes. Do you also understand fully that if the prior to the conclusion of the initial trial of this case, that you fail or refuse to testify to any fact that you now acknowledge in this plea agreement, such failure or refusal constitutes a violation of this plea agreement, and you'll be subject to being sentenced to serve the remainder of your sentence confined within the Georgia Department of Corrections. Yes. Do you also acknowledge that no promises, agreements, or conditions have been made other than those set forth in this document, and none will be entered into unless memorialized in writing and signed by all parties? Yes. And did you, along with your attorney, sign this document and date it today's date, February, excuse me, December 29, 2022? Yes. And that's your signature here? Yes. Do you understand that this plea may be used to enhance sentencing on other convictions in this jurisdiction as well as in other jurisdictions, including the federal courts? Yes. Do you understand that if you are currently on probation or parole, your probation or parole may be revoked based on your entering a guilty plea today? What are you it? The law, they have to say that you're probation or parole. Why they ain't in the paper, though? That's a boy can write. That's just... I didn't read that. Can you repeat that? Sure. I'm giving. I'm letting you know your rights. That's not something that's going. To, uh, I can't tell you that something that's not going to happen. But that's not something that we're asking for the court to do. But that's something that that's a right that I have to read to you. All right. All right. Have to read it because it so much. Yes. All right. So I'm reading your rights now. I'm going back to reading your rights that you're giving up by entering into a plea. Do you understand that if you are currently on probation or parole, your probation or parole may be revoked based on your entering a guilty plea today? Yes. Do you understand that if you are placed on probation of any kind, you cannot violate any criminal laws of any governmental unit or any special conditions of probation without being subject to revocation for the balance of the sentence? Yes. Do you understand that you are not allowed to possess or use a firearm while on probation? Yes. 
Do you understand that if you are not a United States citizen, a guilty plea conviction will affect your immigration status and will result in deportation? Yes. <clears throat> do you understand... Do you understand that there may be other adverse or unfavorable consequences as a result of this guilty plea conviction, just as there would be from a conviction following a trial? Yes. For example, your guilty plea may affect your right to vote, your right to hold public office, your right to serve on a jury, your right to obtain a passport, your right to receive, possess, or transport a firearm, or the ability to obtain employment. Do you understand that? Yes. Do you understand that by pleading guilty to a felony, if you use receive, possess, or transport a firearm, or use a firearm in a crime, you will be guilty of a felony which may carry a sentence of 1 to 15 years. Yes. Do you understand that you waive any and all defenses, including any mental health defenses, by entering a plea of guilty? Yes. Do you understand if you went to trial, that you had the right to a trial by jury, the right to see, hear, and confront witnesses called to testify against you, and the right to testify or to remain silent and not incriminate yourself? Yes. Do you understand that by pleading guilty, you are giving up the following rights? And after each right, I'm going to ask you to say yes or no if you understand, okay? You understand that you're giving up, giving up the right to a trial by jury. Yes. The right to remain silent and not incriminate yourself. Yes. The right to confront witnesses against you. Yes. The right to assistance of counsel hired by you or to court-appointed counsel if you cannot afford an attorney at a trial of your case. Yes. The right to the presumption of innocence. Yes. The right to testify on your own behalf and to present other evidence. Yes. The right to subpoena witnesses and compel the production of evidence. Yes. The right to have the charges against you proved beyond a reasonable doubt. Yes. The right to appeal if convicted of these charges after a trial. Yes. Has anyone forced threatened or promise you anything to get you to enter a guilty plea? No. Is it your decision to waive these rights and enter, a, and enter a guilty plea because you are in fact guilty? Yes. With respect to indictment 22 SC 183-572, where you're charged with one count of conspiracy to violate the Racketeer Influence and Corrupt Organization Act, how do you plead? Guilty. Is this guilty plea freely and voluntarily given with a full knowledge of the charges against you? Yes. Do you understand that you have only a limited right to appeal this guilty plea conviction? Yes. Do you understand that you have four years from today's date for the felony charge to file a habeas corpus petition challenging the voluntariness of this plea? Yes.
today. Sir, do you have the opportunity to fully discuss the facts and circumstances of this? Mr. Stevens, uh, good evening, sir. Good evening. Sir, do you have the opportunity to fully discuss the facts and circumstances of this case with your attorney, Ms. Gladden, your satisfaction? Yes, sir. Did she explain to you the various constitutional rights you give up by pleading guilty to your satisfaction? Yes. Do you have any questions about those rights you wish to ask me? No, sir. All right. I am holding the indictment in this case. Okay, and on page six of the indictment, I'm going to show you. <clears throat> Is this your signature on the on the page of this indictment above the word defendant? Yes, sir. All right. Before signing this indictment, did you have the opportunity to fully discuss the facts and circumstances of this indictment with your attorney, Ms. Gladden, to your satisfaction? Yes. Yes? Yes. Yes. Yeah. Do you need more time to discuss it with her? No. I'm okay, all right. But before you signed it, you had an opportunity to talk with her. Yeah. And you don't want to talk with her about the indictment anymore? No. Okay, all right. I'll know the indictment's been signed and the plea has been entered. I'm going to accept your plea as tendered and as negotiated. To count. Your Honor, we are stopping at 24. Uh, 24. Minutes. Okay. Thank you. 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 Thank